I'm David Bryan, Executive Director of the Barbados International Film Festival. Welcome, you're watching The Inside Reel. The Inside Reel gives you a peek into the first annual Barbados International Film Festival, where the talk of film flows as smoothly as the Mount Gay Rum. The inaugural fest featured films from Hollywood veterans to local Caribbean filmmakers. Inside Reel sat down with the festival director, filmmakers, and Sony recording artist, etc., to discuss the advantages of having a festival in Barbados and their thoughts on the Caribbean film industry. The festival was conceptualized in 2003 by myself. Um, I, I looked at the dynamics of the whole film industry in Barbados and the Caribbean. I realized that there was a void um, for uh, good independent film in Barbados and I figured that a, a festival would do us well. Barbados is, you know, it's, it's like, it's a place of its own, definitely. You know, it's family oriented. Um, it's a very, 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 very extravagant um, tourist, tourist attraction. And um, the people are kind here. When you come down, you come down to really decompress and relax. And you can do that here. And people realize that, people understand it. There's a general philosophy of, you know, uh, just, you know, no worries, no problems, you know, just take it easy and, and, and slow down the pace. And it's interesting because when we do vacation down in the Caribbean, sometimes you're still in, you know, uh, states mode and you want things in a rush and you want things fast. And it doesn't take but too long for you to realize that we're on a completely different pace down here. We don't have, uh, quote unquote, natural resources as in gold, silver, those sort of things. Um, but we have uh, an asset in our people. No matter where you go, the people are always kind, they're polite, manifold, um, and they're very giving, you know, they're, they're hospitable uh, personalities, they actually stick. I love it, I love it, I can't even deny that, I love it. Good afternoon and welcome to Mount Gay Rum Visitors Center, my name is Maria. Now Mount Gay is one of the sponsors for the film festival here in Barbados. It's a must see when you come to visit our island, because once you say Barbados, the next words off your lips. It's Mount Gay. Mount Gay rum is the Rolls Royce among all the Toyotas and, 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 and Suzuki's and stuff. Where that's where we want to be. I think the, the film festival is, is a real high-end kind of activity and this is where Mount Gay wants to be right there. So we're very, very happy to be a part of the film festival. We'll do it again. Uh, we chose films which would excite the audience, which would bring out the, the, the issues of the day. Um, films that would keep you thinking. Uh, films such as Juno, which we saw last night. Uh, films like Partition. Uh, Partition's dealing with, with the whole uh, issue of, of two ethnic cultures. We had selections from Russia. Armenia, Croatia, Mexico, uh, from the Caribbean, Trinidad, Jamaica, Barbados, United States of America, Canada, UK, uh, and, and many more. I got a call from the uh, film festival people here that they said they'd love to show my film here. So I said when a call like that comes from Barbados and to be there in December, well, how can you say no? I'm a filmmaker and the, the name of my film is called Sarbanes Oxley and uh, essentially we were invited to come down here by the founder of the film festival and you know it didn't take too much convincing if you just take one look over my shoulder so coming down to the uh, Barbados International Film Festival was very intriguing particularly since I have a Caribbean background so it was very important to me to kind of come back to the Caribbean and do my my world premiere in the Caribbean here is pretty exciting. Sarbanes-Oxley is actually the name of a law that was passed in 2002 but I took it, I turned it on its head I made it very sexy, very compelling, and very urban. Now the piece is about corporate corruption and sexual deception. You always want to see how your own people will react to the film and to react to the nuances in that particular piece and in the story. So it's, it's pretty cool. The film is a 32-minute documentary that is kind of an intervention into the CSME, the CARICOM single market and economy. It's similar, you might be familiar with the European Union, a coming together of countries, which is what we're currently doing in the Caribbean. Um, and their talk is that there's going to be free movement for all people. At this point, the movement is functioning for uh, businesses, insurance companies and banks, and people at the lower end of the socioeconomic ladder have not been able to access the free movement. So uh, my interest in doing this was to allow 
uh, Caribbean migrants to speak about their migrant experience within the context of this supposed integrative program that's not functioning for all people. I think it's really important for people to constantly be exposed to what's happening. If we want to be producing film in Barbados, we want to see what the best people are producing all over the world. We want to be able to have access to them, to pick their brains, to be able to share information, to exchange ideas, and that's going to help grow the industry. We're trying to work on several different things, like this is the first inaugural uh, uh, Barbados Film Festival, and uh, it was good, you know. It's good to have such an, an intro, you know. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you next year. That's it for this episode of the Inside Reel. We'll be back next episode with more interviews and insight into the world of filmmaking.